the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the second show of Quick Hits, uh, just like I promised. Uh, the first show was fantastic, uh, and the second show is going to be just as good. Uh, we got a great, we got a great fight. Uh, Brandon Figueroa against Louis Neary. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Uh, share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, twice a day, 8 to 10 minutes per day. Uh, each show, 8 to 10 minutes to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please, there's a uh, new YouTube page, a new YouTube channel called Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, please like and subscribe, share that too. It's completely dedicated uh, to boxing in the Lone Star State. And uh, also, TACA, the Autism Community in Action. There's a link in that to a charity that's near and dear to our heart. It is National uh, Autism Month. Um, so if you can, please share that. If possible, please donate too. Um, it is a charity that it is worthwhile and it's near and dear to our heart. Uh, that link will be in the description. But let's get into today's show. Brandon Figueroa and Louis Neary. Uh, May fifteenth. Uh, it's gonna. It's unfortunately there aren't gonna be any fans because I really wanted to go to this fight and cover this fight. Unfortunately, it's gonna be in the uh, in their bubble, um, so there's not gonna be any fans there. And that's unfortunate because I really wanted to see this. I wanted to be there. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, well, let's get into it. I, this is. Uh, there's two fighters, two young fighters in their prime, offensive fighters who'd like to come forward. Uh, this is going to be fight of the year type stuff. This is can't miss action. I mean, this is absolutely can't miss action. Um, there's nothing I don't love about this fight. Um, that's the good news. The bad news is I, I, I don't think that Lewis Neary has much of a path to victory. As good as he is, and he's really good, I think the style is all right for this being a great fight. It's all wrong for Lewis Neary winning the fight, and let's get into why. Um, Lewis Neary starts slow. He's cool and calm, uh, and he starts slow. He doesn't pick it up until, you know, fourth, fifth round. Brandon Figueroa starts quick. Brandon Figueroa is shot out of a cannon every second of every round in every fight. So off the bat, Figueroa is going to be up early. Figueroa doesn't hit like Lewis, uh, like like Piano. Um, Brandon Figueroa, for a volume puncher, has excellent power. Uh, he uses his jab. He switches out of the conventional and southpaw stance. Um, he's going to be not just putting rounds in the bank, but he's going to be slowing down Neary. He's going to be doing damage to Neary. He's not just going to be landing some jabs here and there like Piano did. Uh, and if, if Neary thought Piano was tricky. And difficult. Wait till he sees this guy, right? Um, you know, if, if Piano was anything, and I keep going back to the Piano fight because uh, that was his last fight, really of consequence. I know he's fought since then. Um, he missed weight for the Figueroa fight. I, I'm sorry for the uh, Man Manny Rodriguez fight, uh, but that was the, the Piano fight was his last fight of consequence, and he did okay in the fight. He fought Almeida too. Almeida was really unknown, so I don't really know what to make of that. He didn't look good in the fight. Um, but the Piano fight was on the Thurman Pacquiao pay-per-view. It was an anticipated fight. And I, I think we, we, we got to see the good, bad, and ugly kind of um, with Neary. He's got power. He's got really good power. He's a good offensive fighter. He's cool. He likes to come forward. He likes to fight more in the mid-range than he does in close. Um. If anyone can make the other go backwards, that guy's going to be in trouble. Brandon Figueroa is naturally bigger. He's much taller. I think, I don't know who's, he's stronger. I, I think he's going to make Neary go backwards. I don't know that Neary can fight going backwards. If they just sit and, cha and trade in the middle of the ring, that's Figueroa's game. That's Figueroa's forte. 
Figueroa is going to beat you with volume. He's also got good head movement for a guy that throws a million punches. He's going to weigh you down. He's going to beat you up. You know, again, this has all of the makings for a great fight. It's just I don't see the path to victory for Neary. He's got to do it in the mid-range. He's got to save. He's got to set things up. But, like, while he's trying to be – he's going to have to do it with one shot. And, and do we know Figueroa to have anything but a cast iron jaw? We don't. So I don't see him getting him out with one shot. Um, they're gonna. It's going to be an offensive explosion. I I, I just think um, Figueroa is going to carry the rounds. I, I think Figueroa is, you know, and then the winner of this fight faces Stephen Fulton in September, um, which is going to be a great fight. That's gonna that is going to be awesome. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Fulton fights that fight, especially if it's Figueroa, um, because he fought his last fight, Fulton fought on the inside against Leo, which was weird. Um, and he did really, really well, and he beat Leo on the inside. Um, so I'm interested to see how Leo fights Figueroa. Um, Figueroa is offensively as good as they get. Um, I think this guy is the future of the featherweight division after he wins the title. You know, after he defends this title, he'll fight Fulton and probably go up to 126. I think he's going to have a ton of success there. I think he's that that's where he's going to stay for a while, and he's going to cause a lot of havoc in that division. Um, Figueroa is, is a special fighter, and not that Neri is not good. Neri is very good. It's just stylistically, this is all wrong for him. Um, he's like you know, like I said, Neri likes to come forward, um, and you know, Figueroa is not going to go backwards, so they're just going to sit and trade. Um, he was like the guy that likes to kind of pick his shots. He's going to get overwhelmed with punches. You know, and he's getting overwhelmed not by um, a guy who can't punch, not by just a pure volume puncher, but he's getting outboxed by a guy, outpunched by a guy who, with snap on his punches. Like I said, if Piano and his herky jerky kind of movement gave um, Neri a bunch of trouble, just wait until you see what Figueroa does with his angles and his. Uh, switching from stance to stance, uh, and his different looks are going to do to Neary. And I think Neary will land a ton of shots. He'll have success, but he's going to lose round after round after round. I don't think he'll get stopped, although he may. I think if he gets stopped, it's going to be from culmination, maybe stopped from swelling, something like that. Um, but I, I think uh, in, in a really, really exciting fight, I think Brandon Figueroa's volume carries the day for him. Um, I think... Figueroa is future Hall of Famer. And, you know, Neary's good. I think Figueroa is the future. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Are you as high on Figueroa as I am? Uh, do you think Neary has a better path to victory than I'm giving him credit for? And there's no disrespect here. I think he's an excellent fighter. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, leave your predictions below. Let me know what you think of mine. Um, remember, it is uh, National Autism Month. So there's a link to Taka talk, talking about curing autism, T-A-C-A, uh, in the description. Um, Please share that. Um, donate, donate to it if you can. Um, there's also a link to Texas Boxing Scene. Please like and subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. Follow that. It's completely dedicated to uh, the greatest country in the world, Texas, and the greatest sport in the world, boxing. So let me know. Uh, let me, please uh, subscribe to that. It's brand new. It was just launched yesterday. Um, it is Feb uh, no, it's not February. It is April 16th, 2021. Um Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.